Mike here at the Saskatoon Public Library. I want to do a draw and tell with you today, but before we get too far into the story time, I need to stop and remind this guy that we're all here together on Treaty 6 territory, which is also a traditional homeland of the Métis. I'm proud to be a treaty person. It's hard to tell stories wearing this mask, but you see, I'm alone here in the story time, so I'm gonna take it off so that you can see my face better and maybe we can understand each other a little bit better. Here, give me just a second, I'll take it off my special way. That's better. Okay, so uh, what do we need to tell to do a draw and tell story? Oh, I need some paper, just a second. Okay, well, now where did I go? <laughs> That's better, hi, okay. I'm back. Uh, here we go. I'm going to tell you this story. Uh, it's called At the End of the Rainbow. And let's see, what can I tell you about it? Okay, we're going to make it about uh, a creature. Let's call them Sam. Now, Sam, mystery creature. Sam was living on a hot, dry, dusty plain. It was really flat. Oh, well, here, let's, let's draw a flat line. And Sam lived in, uh, in a little dome house with two round windows, just like that. Now, one day, Sam woke up and discovered outside their window a, a beautiful, gorgeous rainbow. Uh, just, just out there. Have you ever seen a rainbow? Of course you have. Uh, well, and if you haven't, uh, you probably missed them for the season, but maybe in the spring you'll see one uh, after it rains. Anyway, there was this beautiful rainbow, and Sam thought to themselves, I've heard that, that there, there's treasure at the end of a rainbow, but if you ever try to find the end of a rainbow, it's, it's really tricky to do. Well, Sam wasn't going to be daunted, and so they set off. They walked across the flat plains, and it was hot and dusty and, and sticky, and they came to a hill, and they began to climb the hill. They climbed up the hill until they came to a little hut. And inside the hut, well, I guess they knocked at the door. Inside the hut was a gnome, a, a, a little person a, with a beard and a, and a pointy hat. And they said, what do you want? Sam said, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to the end of the rainbow. I've, I've heard there's treasure. And the gnome said, what kind of treasure are you looking for? Sam thought, well, I know exactly what I'm looking for, and told the gnome. And the gnome said, well, that doesn't sound like too much to ask for. Let me help you. You need to keep walking up this hill. You need to go past the marshy swamp, and you need to find the wizard's hut. Maybe, just maybe, they'll help you. Well, thanks, said Sam. Bye. And Sam went walking along the hill, uh, past the marshy swamp, and came at last to another hut. And inside, there was a wizard. Sam knocked at the door. Hello, is anybody there? What do you want? Said the wizard at the window. Oh, uh... I'm, I'm trying to get to the end of the rainbow. I've heard that there is a wonderful treasure there. Oh, well, what kind of treasure are you looking for? Said the wizard. And so Sam told them. Oh, said the wizard. Well, that doesn't sound like too much. Here, let me help you. Um, I'm going to give you these magic boots, said the wizard. Well, what, what do I do with these boots? You put them on, of course, said the wizard, and they will help you walk right up and over the rainbow. Oh, said Sam. Thanks so much. I, I really appreciate the help. Uh, don't mention. And so Sam put on the boots and came to the end of the rainbow and began to walk up, 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 until Sam got to the very middle of the rainbow and looked down. <gasps> And there at the bottom, there was the treasure. You know what it was? It was the biggest, wettest, blackest pile of mud. A mud puddle that you had ever seen at the end of the rainbow. 
<laughs> with a squeal of delight. Sam slid all the way down the rainbow to the other side. Splash! Right up to the tip of their tail. And I guess by now, you've probably figured out what kind of animal Sam is. Of course you did. Yeah. Sam smiled a special smile because they were in their happiest place in the entire world. Right up to their tail in the mud. Sam was a pig. Well, Thanks for listening to that story. I had a lot of fun telling it to you. Uh, I've got to go off and do some other work now. I, I guess I have to put my mask back on. Bye.